Thank you so much for joining me today at Everyday Yoga. My name is Christine. My pronouns are she and her. I'm practicing today with my daughter on Zoom, and we're recording this session for our chair video series on the Everyday Yoga YouTube channel. So we're going to start today by grounding. And if you've um, heard the term grounding before, but have not been sure what it means. I wasn't sure really what it meant when I first heard it, or if you're new to the term, it literally means bringing your awareness to where you are contacting the surface that you are on. So today we're sitting in a chair, our feet are on the floor, maybe you are barefoot like me or maybe you are wearing socks or you even prefer to wear shoes just be wherever you are and notice the contact of your feet on the ground underneath you and maybe your feet are on a mat like mine or maybe they're on a hardwood floor or linoleum maybe they are on a rug or carpet Maybe you're really lucky and they're in the sand or on the grass. Just notice, maybe with your eyes closed, if you feel comfortable doing that. Notice the sensation of the soles of your feet. Notice the feeling underneath your pinky toes underneath the next toe over, middle toes, the second toe from the big toe, and then press the big toe gently onto the ground or into your soccer shoe. Just notice all the toes, maybe press the toes down onto the floor and lift the toes up to the sky, spreading them nice and wide, allowing a little bit of air to circulate between the toes. And then one at a time, place the pinky toes and the next toe over down on the mat, and then the middle toes, and then the next toes, whoops, and then the big toes. And it might be hard to, individualize each of those toes because typically we kind of use them all together but allowing them to be their individual toes recognizing them for the essential parts of our body that they are and then bring your attention underneath your heels and the contact of the heels on the floor beneath you whatever is between you and the floor, maybe something to the outside edges of the heels, to the inside edges of the heels, maybe to the very backs of the heels, maybe to the entire round little circular kind of egg shaped pad of the heel and where it comes towards the middle of your feet. And then press fully onto the outside edges of the feet, the toes, the heels, and all of the foot that's in between those two halves of the whole. And then to the inside of the feet, Maybe you need to really press the knees towards one another to press into the insides of the feet. Maybe roll the feet a little bit in and out, kind of like an old Charleston dancer, crisscross like that. I'm not quite sure how that goes. Maybe even take the hands and do that a little bit, rolling the feet from the insides to the outsides. And then come back to stillness. And then press into the palms. Maybe rub the hands up and down the thighs a little bit and notice the contact between your palms and your fingertips. And whatever surface you're rubbing them on, maybe it's jeans, maybe it's sweatpants. 
something in between. Maybe it's, maybe you're wearing shorts and it's your own skin. And just notice how that feels on the palms and in the fingertips where there are literally thousands of receptors for touching. So we're grounding through our feet and now press into stillness with the palms on the tops of the legs. And then press with the sit bones onto the seat of your chair. And just notice the support of the chair underneath your buttocks, underneath your tailbone, the tops of the thighs. Really press into the hands, press into the feet, press into the seat and draw the crown of the head and the tips of the ears up towards the sky, finding length in the spine, letting those elbows be heavy, drawing the shoulders away from the ears. Bring your awareness now to the base of your spine where the tailbone neither touches or comes close to touching the seat of your chair. And then take get that inner gaze, that inner eye for a journey up along the spine. And imagine creating just a little more space in between each and every vertebra. Pressing into the hands, pressing into the feet, shoulders drawing away from the ears, crown of the head drawn up towards the sky. Space in between each and every beautiful pearl of your spine. Holding you up straight in all your dignity, in all your worthiness, in all your light, in all your love. Self-respect, confidence, lifting the heart and bringing to it all a sense of courage. Courage being uh, derived from a French word that means heart. Literally meeting things with our hearts. Not from a place of fear, but from a place of love. Pressing into the feet. Pressing into the palms, letting the elbows and the shoulders be heavy as you lift the heart and lift the crown and lift the ears towards the spine. Finding yourself simultaneously supported from underneath and drawn from up above. Inhale here, filling up the entire body with fresh, fresh oxygen. And then let it all go out the mouth with a sigh. Backing off maybe 20, 30% of effort from that really extended seat to simply be at ease in the body here. Focus on the heart. Inhale, imagining you're drawing that air in through the heart space. And as you exhale, imagine exhaling from the heart. Receiving with love and offering with love your whole essential being is love. And just find that place of ease, that place of stillness. One more full breath here. Let's find just a little bit of spinal flexion today. Let's continue to stay grounded throughout this practice, pressing into the feet, pressing into the seat. Let's inhale and reach the arms up towards the sky, bringing the palms together and down to the heart. 
And then let's lift those palms back up over the head. Follow the thumbs with the gaze and then break the palms free from one another, letting the fingertips drift towards the earth and bringing the gaze down towards the thighs where the hands meet once again at the heart. Inhale the hands up towards the sky, reach up, look up, exhale, hands come down towards the earth and meet once again in front of the heart. Keep the gaze down at the fingertips, getting a nice little stretch at the back of the neck. And this time as you inhale, take the hands down and out and up and around and find them once again over your head, exhaling hands to heart. One more time, inhaling down and up and out and around and back up overhead. And let's bring the hands together at the heart space, nice and slow and soft, pressing the thumbs into the heart, lifting the heart to the thumbs. Take a full breath here. And the next time you inhale, go ahead and hook the fingers, bringing one hand in front of the other. We'll say the right hand just for keeping things straight because we're gonna switch. So hook the fingers, right hand in front of the left, back of the left palm towards the heart. Inhale and draw the fingers, draw the elbows actually away from each other while you still keep a hold of those fingers. Inhaling, drawing apart, bringing the shoulder blades closer towards one another. And as you exhale, press the palms in towards one another and really feel the pressure of the hands on each other from fingertips to heels. Inhale, this time right hand on the back, hook the fingers, draw the elbows away from each other. Exhale, pressing into Anjali Mudra, prayer position at the heart, really drawing those elbows down and back toward one another. Inhaling, right hand in front, lifting the heart, drawing the elbows away, making space across the collarbones, and exhale, pressing the hands in together. And then inhale, right hand on the back once again. Exhale, pressing together. Two more times on each side, moving with your breath, keeping it straight. Maybe a little awkward. Last time we'll press as we exhale. Inhale, hooking. Press as we exhale. Inhale, last side, last time. Bring palms together at heart space. And then we'll inhale the hands down and around and up overhead, palms coming together. And this time we're gonna slice the palms all the way down towards the feet, coming into a seated forward fold here, allowing the belly to rest on the thighs. Maybe you might wanna be up here with the elbows on the knees. Or maybe you want to just release the hands and maybe allow the backs of the hands to come to the floor or the tops of the feet or the shins or the ankles, wherever it seems like they naturally want to be. And maybe drop the head towards the chest and just allow the head to be heavy here, creating space. Taking that awareness again now from the base of the skull all the way back down towards the root of the spine, traveling first down the neck, the upper spine, the cervical spine, inhaling into the back body, expanding. Exhale, bringing your awareness to the middle of the spine, the thoracic back. Inhaling into that back body, expanding through the low back, the lumbar spine. And as you exhale, just allow yourself to find a little more softness, allow the head to be a little more heavy. 
maybe take the gaze from side to side, getting just a little gentle movement here in the back of the neck. Two more breaths here. Nice and slow. And then we'll go ahead and roll up, taking the awareness to the base of the spine, one vertebrae at a time, rolling up, unfurling like a new blade of grass, rolling up one vertebrae at a time to greet the sun, reaching the arms up alongside the ears, bringing the palms together, and down at the heart center. Let's find a little side to side motion in the spine, inhaling the arms up overhead and maybe steepling the fingers, interlacing the fingers and allowing those index fingers to extend up towards the sky. Find length in the spine here as you inhale. And as you exhale, tilt very gently over towards the left, just a little bit, finding space in the right side of the body here, grounding down through that right sit bone as you reach up to the sky through that right fingertip. Nice and long through the right side body. The next time you inhale, come back to center and exhale over towards the right side body or towards the right, getting stretching into the left side body, pressing down through that left hip bone, pressing down through the seat of the left buttock there, reaching up through the fingertips, getting long, one beautiful line from the sit bone up to the fingertip. The next time you inhale, reach up towards the sky and exhale to break away. And then we'll bring the palms together again at the heart center. We'll get just a little bit of a hip opening here as well. So either cross the right ankle over the left or bring the outside of the right ankle to the top of the left thigh coming into a figure four stretch. So if this is uncomfortable for your right hip, keep the ankles crossed down here at the bottom. But if you can get into that, kind of make a little adjustments for you so you can really be pressing into that left foot, supporting the right leg, pressing evenly into both sit bones, drawing the crown of the head back up towards the sky. Letting those elbows and shoulders be nice and heavy. Flexing through that right foot to engage the tendons around the knee, keeping the knee nice and supported and safe here. And then let's go ahead and open up the arms towards the front as if you're holding a pizza or a tray of cookies or maybe a birthday cake. Maybe you're offering this tray to somebody. Maybe somebody is offering it to you. But just reach out in this giving, receiving position with the hands. And then maybe extend the arms just a little bit more, drawing those pinkies towards one another, making space in between the shoulder blades. Let's inhale here and reach forward, hinging at the hips, keeping a nice, tall, straight spine here. And notice what you feel in the right hip. Find your edge, inhaling length, exhaling to deepness, but only as deep as your edge is. Don't go beyond that. The last thing we want to do is hurt ourselves doing yoga. Don't want to do that. This is a, um, an activity, a body-based modality that you can come back to until you're well over 100. So don't push beyond pain. You might notice a little shake in your arms here, a little bit of heat building up. Notice what you feel in your palms in this offering, receiving position here. 
And then we'll inhale, lifting the hands to the sky, bringing the palms together. And this time we're gonna serpentine the arms back down, just coming like a little wave, a little serpentine snaky action, coming all the way back down to the heart. And then let's go ahead and release everything, shaking out the arms, maybe shaking out the legs. And then we'll do the other side, crossing the left ankle over the right, or bringing the outside of the left ankle to the top of the thigh. Finding length here as you engage that left foot, flexing it to really tap into all the support that's built in here around the left knee. Finding length here. And then coming back to that offering, receiving action with the hands, opening the palms, being happy to offer what you have to give of yourself to the world, and happy to receive what the world has to give to you. And then reach those hands forward and hinge forward as you inhale, find length in the spine, drawing the heart forward first and finding depth as you exhale, or maybe just a little softness. Notice what you feel in that left hip. Notice what you feel in the arms, the shoulders, the hands. And then we'll inhale the palms back up to the sky, bring the hands together, serpentine down again. But as soon as you start, notice where you start. That's probably where you started the last time. So change the side to the opposite side and serpentine down in that direction. Letting the whole upper body be part of the movement. Palms come back to heart center and we release everything, shake everything out, maybe tap the feet, maybe shake the arms, maybe taking any negative energy that you've had throughout the day today and just, just brush it off. Let it flow away from you. Send it out in a way, hopefully not at me but out and away to the ether, just shaking it off, getting rid of it all, coming back to center, coming back to grounding, noticing the feeling of your feet on the earth, noticing the feeling of your palms on your thighs or knees, noticing the feeling of your sit bones on your chair, Noticing how it feels to draw the crown of the head towards the sky and the elbows down towards the earth. Noticing if you have an itch to scratch and scratching it or maybe just letting it be. Let's take another few cleansing breaths, inhaling through the nose. Maybe exhaling through the nose or mouth, just letting it go. Inhale through the nose. Exhaling nose or mouth for the sigh. One more time. And then scan your body. Notice the life that is flowing within it. Notice that energy source. Notice the feeling of being you, your skin, your muscle, your fat, your skeleton, everything that everybody else on this planet has. And then let's go ahead and lift the palms up above the head as we inhale and draw the hands down to the heart as we exhale. Lifting the sternum to the thumbs, pressing the thumbs to the heart. And we'll bring the chin to the chest, getting one last stretch in the back of the neck here, bowing down with respect and honor to yourself. 
and to everyone else who shares this practice with you, whether now or in the future, the light within me sees and honors the light within you. Namaste.